get a virtual pilot it's requiem it's time to have a look at the Focal 190 a8 on the outside is the mechanical gear position indicator on the flaps we have a window this will tell you the amount of degrees it's extended coming inside got a few pieces of the radio equipment here here's the throttle and just forward of the throttle is your propeller pitch between the automatic and manual control and on the throttle you've got the increase and decrease propeller pitch here you've got your flap controls and then next to that are the landing gear controls there's a landing gear position and there we've got the horizontal stabilizer trim controls and the horizontal stabilizer incidence indicator if it's in the center position that means it's at two degrees there are the magnetos along with the instrument light brightness We've got the IFF control unit and the fuel tank selector along with the boost control. Now you've got some MG131 arming lights along with the ammunition counters, AFN2 homing indicator, altimeter, pitot heat light, airspeed indicator, artificial horizon, vertical speed indicator, repeater compass, manifold pressure, tachometer. Now zoom in a little bit. This is the cow shutter control. When you move it with this white line, if it's all the way to the top, it means your shutters are closed. And if that line is all the way down, it means it's all the way open. Now you've got the split fuel and oil pressure gauge, an oil temperature gauge, fuel gauge, propeller pitch indicator, and the fuel warning light showing 100 litres left. You've got your oxygen flow indicator and pressure along with the valve. There's the clock coming over to the right side. This is navigation lights along with some data cards and other various circuit breakers. Alright, so we'll cut away for the engine start and you can look at the pilot's notes for the Focke Wolf 190. So taxiing the Focke Wolf 190, they've got the tailwheel lock which is engaged by pulling the stick back. So this way the airplane will taxi stroke when we add some power. And then when we come around a turn, we're going to relax that back pressure and unlock the tailwheel. And that will allow us to make a tighter turn. To take off from the Focke Wolf 190, We'll set the flaps to the start position, stabilise the trim to plus 1.5 degrees, propeller pitch to automatic, cow shutters fully open, and then we'll lock the tail wheel by pulling the stick back. At 100 km per hour, you're going to push that stick forward a little bit to about neutral. Then at 180 km per hour, we can rotate and the airplane's going to lift off in a three point attitude. By 250 km per hour, you're going to retract the flaps, and your best climb speed will be 280 km per hour up to 3,000 meters. So as we're coming up, we apply brakes and come to a stop. Then we get ready for takeoff. So we'll close the canopy. Set the flaps to the takeoff position. And for the horizontal stabilizer, remember the zero is actually plus two degrees. So we're going to go back half a degree with nose up. Cow flaps are fully open. We're good to go. So we're holding that stick back, applying full power to 1.2 atmospheres. Using right rudder to keep ourselves straight in the runway. We get past 100 km per hour, and we start releasing that stick pressure just behind neutral. Keep ourselves aligned with centerline, 
and then we'll lift off about 180 kilometers per hour in the three point position. Positive rate of climb, get the gear up. Continue accelerating. Right, the flaps retracted. Just by the time we get about 250 kilometers per hour. Track the flaps. Then we will just climb at 280 kilometers per hour, 1.2 atmospheres, and that'll be your best continuous climb up to 3,000 meters. So land the Fock Wolf, find downwind, you're going to be below 300 kilometers per hour. You'll set the cow shutters as required to maintain your CHT. You can extend the landing gear and put the flaps at the start position. Also, on the stabilizer trim will be at 1.5 degrees, and the propeller pitch will be automatic or manual at 1130. By the end of downwind, it will be about 250 km per hour, and you can set the flaps to the landing position. This way, you can begin a base and final turn with an airspeed of about 220 km per hour. Now, to stay below 300, we'll need to be at reduced power, so because of that, I'm going to close up the cow shutters. Ensuring we're below 300, and then set the gear down and the flaps to the start position. Then we'll start slowing the airplane down further, and then by the time we get to the end of downwind, it'll be about 250 km per hour. Then we can set the flaps to the landing position. Then we'll slow down to about 220, and then we'll begin our base to final turn. You might need a little bit more power than you used to in other airplanes because the Fock Wolf will like to sink quite a bit. And maintain our power and the aiming point just in front of the runway, making our curved approach towards it. Everything should be relatively constant. And as we start coming out of final, we roll it out. Continue flying towards the runway, then we'll chop the power Bring it up towards a three point attitude. We hold it off as long as we can, then we touch down. You can start applying the brakes and hold the stick back. Just will lock the tail wheel, ensure you're going to go straight along the runway. And continue applying rudder with differential brakes to stay straight. Then make sure you come to a stop. That completes the tutorial for the Fock Wolf 190 A8. If you'd like to let me know with a like button or a comment and don't forget to be a subscriber using that notification icon that way you can see new videos as they're released.